Good morning, modern steaders. Here it is, the middle of July, and I got a sweatshirt on. It's 57 degrees out this morning. It's one of the things I love about northern New Hampshire in the summertime. We get some nice chilly mornings. How cold does it get in the morning where you are in the middle of summer? You guys are doing a nice job in here. It's looking good. Yeah, you hungry? There you go. Hey CWC, you're hungry too this morning, I take it, huh? Girls ready for some alfalfa pellets and some black oil sunflower seeds. You're waiting there, Willow. I won't say patiently, but you're waiting. Hey, 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 knock it off. Morning, Hope. Good morning, Hope. No, it's not milking time for you, Hope. Next year. Next year we'll be milking you. It's not your turn this year. Ready, Willow? There you go. The nice brisk mornings are perfect for working too. Oh, I love being able to work when it's a little chilly out still in the morning. I'm hoping we can start getting the raptors up today in the last eve overhang. Man, that'll be so nice to have the last batch of raptors up and then get the roof on it this week. Oh, that's exciting. We're gonna have to start figuring out the layout for the goat stalls and how we want to set up the milking room. We'll probably be doing that one day this week. We'll put our milking stand out in the milking room and figure out how big we want to make that and how big we want to make the stalls. I'm very visual, so even just doing it on paper is okay, but I really like to be able to see it set up in person before I make a decision. And then we'll decide how we want to side the outside and how we want to divide up the eve inside of the eve overhangs. Thank you, Willow. She's getting, she's lacking a little more in her milk, guys. Ah, we don't want to see that already. I think she magically trimmed her hooks yesterday. She don't like that. Huh. Hope, stay out. We got more food. Hope's gonna stay in there. We'll give Hope a little extra treat. Hope. Morning, kiddos. I found the best thing to do is stick some hay in a bucket for the little kids. Huh, morning. Yeah, you guys got your hooks trimmed yesterday too, huh? First time in the milking stand. Yeah. Oh, guys. Just cracks me up. Who do you think's already over here? CWC, you didn't get enough pig grain? Huh? She's not even waiting until the feed's out. By the end of the week, this area is going to be ready for us to move New York City and we can reseed it. Get the grass a little bit thinner over here. A lot of this is weeds and just real briary stuff. But if we can get this out and get some good grass growing, it will be nice. Like clover and other pasture grass. Alright, let's get some strapping. And we'll get these two end posts plumbed up. And then we can set our top beam. Let's grab some screws and our level. This one's way off. We need to go in. 
Uh, not too bad. You could go in about three quarters of an inch. It is nice that the kit from Jamaica Cottage Shop comes with all this extra strapping for this purpose. That right there looks good. Yep, I like that. All right, so this way we gotta come this way quite a bit. Gonna have to move our wagon. It's gonna be in our way. So this one needs to come in quite a bit, okay. All right, let's go down here. Boom, I like that. All right, so that top needs to go out. We need to get one more piece of strapping. All right. Let's get it plumbed up. All right, there's good. Now we need our top beams. This one's gonna be the center beam right here. Yep. Get it set over where we're gonna need it. There we go. Oh, let's get the work area cleaned up so the staging or scaffolding, whatever you'd like to call it, will roll easier. Right here. Now we're gonna need. Let's get this top beam set. I don't think they're getting heavier. I think it's just me. Boom. That'll work. Kind of drop it down into place. Boom. Ah, boom. Oop. Let's get that end set first. Alright. Let's grab three timber locks. Boop. It's nice and flush there. It's flush there. I like it. So let's go. Center post. We're gonna use two GRKs for now. And once everything is flushed up, it's level, so that's good. Let's get a couple started. I think we can get a clamp to help us hold that 4x4 in place. Instead of trying to fight it, let's use the clamp. Like that 
there. Let's come in a smidge. It's good right there. It's nice and flush. That sucked down nice. Awesome. Oh, we can probably do this one without the staging. That's flush there. One here. I think my battery's getting low. What the heck? That came in that box. Huh. I wonder what that's for. It's not supposed to be in there. That's what we need. That's better. I like it. Now, if everything is lined up, this post should have to get pushed over that much. Let's see. It does, and that makes it level. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Woohoo! I get you nervous when you see something like that. Boom. Perfect. Is there one side we like more than the other? Let's put this on the outside because the inside we're going to see. The outside will get covered with siding. All right, here goes nothing. Boom. I like it. Like that, perfect. Perfect, that's nice. That's locked the two beams together. This will take the two beams and drive them right into the top post. Boom. Perfect. All right, next is gonna be our corner braces. Should be four of them, and I'm seeing five, so we got an extra. Actually, I'm seeing six. I don't know, we do need six. Who am I kidding? Yeah, we need six. That bit, I have another bit somewhere. Right here, this is the drill bit we've been using to drill those out. For a quick guide, I like to mark 21 inches on my posts. Yeah, that one, I'll just have to do that. And this gives me a rough idea of where to set my angle braces. So when I first hold them up, it's a lot easier to go, oh, right here's good. And I don't gotta guess.
but I like to pick the side that is not the prettiest and put that out. Pick the prettiest side and put it in. If that makes sense to y'all. And then flush it up to the inside. The outside's gonna have siding on it. Right there, flush it up the outside. Boom. And those GRK screws do such a nice job at setting everything, holding it in place. I like it. All right. Same again. Which side do we want to look at? That's nice. It's got a squashed bug. That side. They're both nice. Let's go with this side. Admit, I'm kind of sad that this is my last corner brace I'm putting up right now. Yeah, I've been enjoying this build. Now we can get the rafters, but before we get them out, let's pre drill them for our top GRK screw. And actually, while I'm right here and thinking about it, we're going to want to take these fly rafter blocks and we'll put them on our end rafters before we put them up. Yes, I'm glad I just thought of that. So we need five. One, two, three, four, five per side. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Let's set these up on the staging. Yes, let's do this. All right, so let's take two of these, stand them up, and we'll pre-drill them. Find the straightest one, and we'll use that for our end rafter. I don't need to pre-drill for the GRK screws. It just makes it easier because I can set the screw in place and I don't have to hold it with my hand. Build a fly rafter on that. Get the air compressor turned on. Get the raft is built. For now, so let's go one, two, three. One, two, three, like so. I like that. No! No! Domino effect. That right there. Oops. Hit a knot and curled up. Never keep your finger near the edge of a board that you're using a nail gun on.
take this last one, flush it up down here. Let's get this one set over here. This set up in place. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's do that. Flush on the outside edge here, which it is perfect like that. Right. Come up just a bit. First one's always the bugger. All right, so I want to leave it a little high for a minute off the ledger. Ledger board might not work on this side. I want my, let's get on the other side. I want my rafter to be down like an inch and three quarters from the top. Or about an inch and a half. I think this is too wide, so it's holding it up too high. So I'm gonna take that down. So we want the bottom of our rafter to be the bottom of this two by eight. That'll give us our inch and three quarter. So if I start a little high, right there, it's flush. That should give me our inch and three quarter. Yep. So that gives us enough room for our strapping and the height of the rib on our tin roof to be flush so we still have a valley. If I kept this up higher, like there, the tin roof, would be a smidge high and you wouldn't have a nice slope. You'd have a little bit of a upward valley and water would sit in there. Last two rafters, let's set this last one first so we have more room to work it. It's gonna be heavier. All right, ready? One, two, three, go! Boom. Oh. Okay, right there. Oh, shenanigans noodles. Man. Okay, let's try it again. That's all we can do. Flush out there, pretty good. All right, let's drop it down some more. Right there, it's perfect. Awesome. What the issue is, is that back piece of two by six is holding it from going way over. So it's just sitting on the very edge by like two inches. So if it slides, it can fall off easy.
This is the last rafter. What? On the whole barn kit. Holy moly. There we go. Whew. Gets tight towards the end. I like that. Out our bit. Gonna need this with our timber locks. All right, let's grab another clamp. Let's get the raptors all toenailed in. That one had knots in it, so I didn't want to put too many nails in and blow the knots out. That's the new loose one. Dad, you go right, I'll go left. Okay. How many eggs do you think? This day we got, what, 15? Yeah, and the day before that we got 20. So I think, like, maybe 18? 18. Oh, look, she left that food so bad. Oh, a blue chicken. And a different lighting box. I don't have nothing for you to get away. No, get away. Eight. Hey. No, get away. She ain't got no eggs under her. Wow. Ten. Get away. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. 
16, 18, Olivia. That's close. 18. I tried out that homemade strawberry jam that Gina made with the fresh picked strawberries we got the other day at the farm. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. But that homemade jam was delicious. Oh, the barn is starting to take shape now. Can't wait to see it all done. Tomorrow my big push is going to be to get the roof strapped, get the tin up, and get it flashed. I know it's a lot to try to do at once, but that's my goal. You guys think I can make it tomorrow? Let me know. We'll find out in the next video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.